Hello once again, YouTube, and welcome back to the domain. Now, wait, wait, wait a second. What's going on here? These are not. These are not Halo. All right, all right. I'll I'll be honest with you guys. I have always loved Pokemon. That's like no secret. These guys, I mean, they are my childhood. I grew up with Pokemon Crystal and then like every game since. I do not like the new games much, but these guys, I mean, these hold a very special place in my heart. So, when I knew that Mega Constructs were making Pokemon toys, I just had to get in on the action. Now I've got a YouTube channel it's like, why not make some videos about it? My dream, guys, is that I could make toy openings of all Mega Constructs, or maybe even other products as well. And I will always focus on Halo, but to take some time off and indulge in some fun Pokemon, I mean, that doesn't hurt anyone, does it? I've got one, two, three Pokeballs from the Mega Constructs line. If you like Mega Constructs, you're gonna like these too. And I made sure to get three different kinds of balls, the Pokeball, Great Ball, and Ultra Ball, and then a few of my favorite Pokemon just so happened to be inside these balls too. So we're gonna start, I mean, we're gonna, I guess, improve in rarity of ball, but maybe not rarity of Pokemon. We're gonna start with Charmander. And yeah, like, I see people's collections, I just did a new episode of the Mega Constructs Domain Community Spotlight, where we go through all of our Mega Constructs collections, and they are not just Halo okay, and they're not even just Call of Duty and Destiny. I see some Pokemon, I see some Game of Thrones, like, you guys like all this kind of stuff. Alright, so we've got a Pokeball, it's pretty cool, it's definitely not spherical in design, but I mean, that's what it's made for, people don't want it rolling around the house. Immediately I would kind of just like a display stand in it to be fully spherical but never mind. I saw when these first came out, these Mega Constructs toys first came out, or even when they were f whoa, hey, that's a long boy. If these had come out a long time ago, they would have ruined me. They would have financially bankrupt me, because, like, I would have bought them all. Like, I had a full collection of Halo at the time. I was buying into other franchises as well, so, like, I definitely would have bought all the Pokemon. So, thankfully, I'm mature enough to not buy them all. <laughs> what am I saying? I mean, it doesn't matter how mature you are. You can buy whatever you want. Look at that. That's, uh, that's adorable. There we go. Charmander's just having a great time there. I don't know what's happened. Maybe he's, uh, maybe he's been given a rare candy. He's just about to evolve. He's pretty damn happy. Interestingly enough, Mega Bloks did used to have the Pokemon license way back when they were just Mega Bloks, but they didn't really do much with it, and they produced what I would say were totally mediocre sets. Like, they were not very good. In terms of the new stuff, like, I opened this video by immediately hating on the new games. If you are of the younger generation, and you're just entering into Pokemon, Sword and Shield are perfect for you. Look at that, though. That is good. Look, look at these little legs. Oh, that's, that's dorky. I like that a lot. And we'll pop the head on. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that's a lot of fun. That's a lot of fun. Yeah, guys, if you were ever interested in Pokemon back in the day, maybe you should pick one of these up. This is really cool. There's his tail. Make sure that fire doesn't go out or he will die. And that's Charmander, little char boy. I tried very recently to get my girlfriend into Pokemon. She was playing one of the original games. She got a Charmander. She named it Char Boy. I think she'll go back to it one day. There we go. He's sitting inside his Pokeball. We'll seal him away for now. There we go. Okay, we got a Pokeball. Moving on to the Great Ball now. Hopefully we'll pick up speed a little bit. I was pretty slow building that Charmander. I guess it's appropriate that Abra is in a Great Ball because you would never really try and capture Abra in a Pokeball. He just teleports away too fast. His, uh, his catch rate's pretty low. But this one, actually, this seems to be a lot more pieces than the Charmander. It definitely is. Uh, at first, I didn't really think I was going to get any of the Pokemon. But recently, you know, I've seen just how innovative Mega Constructs are. Like, they're micro builds in Mega Blocks. And that was one of the times where, like, I was building one of these micro build sets. And I was like, you know what? I bet they put this much attention into the Pokemon. Maybe I should pick some up. Mega Blocks is, or Mega Constructs, to that matter is very difficult to get your hands on in Hong Kong. You can, I mean, you can definitely get it from Amazon. Yeah, look at that, little movable ears. Very impressive. So, like, uh, yeah, you can't really buy Mega Constructs in stores, certainly not Halo, but 
you can buy these occasionally like I mean Pokemon is really huge in Asia So I'm sure they want to be selling them as much as possible pop this body together Yeah, definitely more pieces a lot more detail this one. I imagine he's probably gonna be a lot bigger I've also had my love for collecting Pokemon stuff sort of kept alive by Max Mofo like certainly my age who like they're kind of like Pokemon But Max Mofo he keeps it alive like he's such a funny guy that is a super detailed leg It, it well, looks like a chicken. It's also likely that this video will Will come out just around uh, the results of election night. I mean, like, we're, we're keeping up to date with it. Once the election results come in, just make sure to be nice to each other. We're all friends here, even if we vote differently. We're still brought together by mega constructs, you know, isn't that poetic? <laughs> that is two arms. Look at this boy, he's huge. He's much bigger than Charmander, goodness me. I wonder if these are all like in any way like scaled to each other or is it just kind of random? And that is a tail. I say as I'm holding a piece in my mouth. <laughs> that is a tail. Let's clip it on the back there. Wait a second, did I build this wrong? Ah, there we go. I kind of had to swap like all of these pieces around. They were on back to front. And we have got ourselves an Abra. Look at this guy, he's huge. I, I really didn't expect him to be that big. He's kind of got chicken feet, but I don't mind that. But here we go, we can clip him on top and he's just having a great old time. <laughs> all right, two balls down. We've got the Growlithe. Please do let me know in the comments below. Who is your favorite Pokemon? It can be Gen 1 or it can be Gen anything, really. I mean, my favorites, almost all my favorite Pokemon are from Gen 3. Whoa. Oh, it looks like there's even more. I wonder if like the Pokeballs have the least amount of pieces working up to the Great Balls that have the most. This is a lot of pieces, look at this. We also have a look at what else was included in this set. A Peony, which seems pretty random, but then also an Oddish, a Nidoran, and a Rayolu. Rayolu? Riolu? Something like that. Right, Simon, focus. Don't build this one wrong. And what is your favorite typing in Pokemon? And do you have any Mega Constructs Pokemon yourself? Lots of questions. You can tweet at me, you can comment down below, you can message me on Discord, tag me there. Anything you want, I wanna hear your opinions. You never really know how well Mega Constructs is selling until they just announce that they discontinued the line. <laughs> That's usually when you know. The only one that has stayed throughout everything is Halo. Because everybody loves Halo. Pop this in, yeah, they, they all follow this same kind of structure where you make like a circular head at first. My first ever Pokemon game was Pokemon Crystal but I didn't get obsessed with it until Pokemon Ruby. I maxed out my time clock on the game, like I played that like an ungodly amount. More than any Halo game probably, like that game holds a very, very special place in my heart. Mega Constructs, like they definitely wouldn't have been able to make these figures look so nice without all of their new printed detailing that they've just developed over the last couple of years. We've got a really interesting design here. We sort of insert all of these together. I'm not quite sure what this will make. Pop this in here and that is the tail. Let's pop all this together. Look at this guy. He is even bigger. I've gone bigger and bigger with these sets. Growlithe, he looks awesome. Okay, three awesome little Pokeballs. I don't know about realistic, but like they've got so much charm. They're really nice figures, such a high quality of detail, really nice printed features, just make them really stand out and they, they feel like the Pokemon I grew up with. This Charmander is absolutely tiny. He's probably my favorite, but these two have so much articulation, especially this dog can literally like waggle its ears and wag its tail. I mean, it is a really awesome little introduction into Pokemon Mega Constructs for me. Like, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would love to make more of these in the future. Please let me know if you guys have picked up any of these on your own and which is your favorite Pokemon. And you have an awesome day out there. Charmander is signing off. Ba, 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 ba.